Hello and welcome to my August 14th video update. I have been talking about the Ceremonic wireless mic that I've started using again. and I, I got the mic back in um, March of 2016, so way over two years ago. And I was wondering why, I, after I dug it out and used it last, and I really did like the sound, why I hadn't been using it. So this is a model, let me see, SRWM4C. It was an, about an $80 a wireless mic, so a very economical mic, not a top-of-the-line mic by any means, or wireless setup by any means, but still it, it worked very well, I thought. I was using it with my mm, OMD EM5 Mark II camera with a swivel out lens so I could see myself when I was doing these uh, learning photography episodes. And that's what I was using it for mainly, because I wanted to be untethered, so to speak. I wanted to be able to walk around. I was in a local park and in my backyard or another location. And this was uh, in the spring of 2017. So it took me a while to really start using it because normally I was recording in my studio and I used the overhead video micro or the video micro hanging over my head and that I was happy with that sound. But when I was out in the wild, I wanted to use something that was useful and I didn't really even, don't think I even had any other lav mics except for one uh, Audio-Technica uh, set that I had with a real long cable, but I was trying to use it without a cable. So anyway, I went back and looked at those videos and listened to the audio, and then I started to realize why it was I thought maybe I didn't want to use it, partly because the purpose for it was to use for make, making the learning, tech, uh, learning photography videos, and I really made all the ones that I had planned at that, up to that point. So that's one reason. The other reason is I thought the sound was a little strange. And I noticed the mic, which I have right here, I'm, I'm using it today, the mic, uh, the lab, was actually up close to my throat. And so I thought maybe that was the reason I was getting the kind of sound that I was getting. I guess I was a little bit out of breath, too, and so I would, <sighs> would go like that, and, and that kind of interrupted things. And that was a time when I was doing a lot of ahs and ums, which I still do, but I know enough to cut them out now. So at any rate, I, uh, as I said, dug out the ceremonic, started using it in, and I thought what I would do is test the mic with that camera, the EM5 Mark II, outside and compare it to the, uh, with the mic in, in the location I have it now, which is the way I normally have been using a lav mic, and the way I was using it in those um, March or February to May 2017 videos. So I came out here on the deck and I set things up and that's what I'm going to share with you today. All right, so for the first little insert I'm going to show you or play for you is uh, the Ceramonic mic, wireless mic, set on uh, top my EM5 Mark II, plugged into the camera with the black cable that came with the mic. That's a TRS to TRS connection, which is what a, a, a camera typically takes and I had the mic high up, as you can see, and recorded. So let's see what that sounded like. All right, I'm using the uh, Ceramonic wireless mic connected to my Olympus OMD EM5 uh, Mark II. And um, I've got it the sound level so that I don't see any red, uh, orangish red on the meter that's on the camera. It didn't really sound that bad. So then I moved the mic down and uh, wanted to see if that made any much of a difference. So let's take a look at that little bit of footage. I've got the mic much lower, which is where I normally wear it now. And let's see if there, that improves the quality of the audio. We do have- Again, wasn't really that bad. And I think the reason is I was not being careful about the sound levels that the camera was showing me because it was, I, I remember when I was recording those videos it was rather bright it was difficult to see the screen and I didn't do enough testing which is something you need to do before you start recording uh, before I started those videos to see that it was peaking more and so on on the OMD EM5 when, when the, the uh, audio meter is white and then it goes red or kind of an orangish red when it's getting when it's peaking and getting a little bit too loud so I can turn the can, I can control the volume for the mic on the receiver in a dial, a volume dial, which I thought was for the headphones because you can also monitor the audio you're getting, which is important with a wireless mic setup. But, uh, but as I move that around, I can see that changing. So I made sure there were no red marks. And so that may be why the audio in this is better 
in these two recordings is better than this. Listen to this one out of one of those videos from 2017. 10 of learning photography. This is another episode where I want to show you why it is that we want to take control of our camera and not accept what the camera thinks is the correct exposure. So we're going to do this outside, obviously, in a, hopefully a sunny day. I've got the sun going in and out, so it's causing me a little bit of problem. And let's uh, put your camera in manual mode. as we You see the difference? So, okay, so that, that was that part of the test. So as I said, the, the cable that comes with the Ceremonic is a TRS and TRS, which works fine with cameras and some other device, and recorders, for example, with the Olympus recorders that I use, but it won't work with the um, iPhone. So you need to have an adapter that goes from TRS to TRRS. So there are two rings that you see on the, uh, the plug, the jack, not just one. And so when I did this before to try it out, I used an adapter that I have from, from Rode. But then I realized today when I was getting set up that I have this, uh, cable, it's a red cable with a black end that goes into, that's a TRS that goes into the receiver, and then a gray end that's TRRS that goes into the device you're going to record to, in this case the iPhone 7 Plus. I of course still have to use a little white 3.5 to lightning adapter so I can plug it into my iPhone 7 Plus. So I did that, again I put the mic close to my chin, so it was mimicking the same as in those 2017 videos and recorded that. So let's take a listen to that little clip. All right, so I have the Ceremonic uh, wireless mic on uh, attached to my iPhone 7 Plus using Filmic Pro. And um, I've set the volume so it's not, doesn't appear to be peaking. And I'll be, again, now realize, again, I think the issue is I've been more careful recently about looking at the levels than I was back then, because that was still, using a wireless mic was, was new to me, and I maybe was just not as careful as I should have been. So just to complete the test though, I moved the mic down to where it is right now, and did a recording on the uh, iPhone 7 Plus, which is what you're hearing now, and this is what that sounded like. One button, this top button is something I don't usually have buttoned. And let's see if that changes the sound very much at all, or the audio very much at all. Okay, the... so really not a whole lot of difference. And it all has to do with, I think, the peaking, which is a lesson for all of us, that you need to make sure that you're checking your audio level. So you want to use an app, if you're on a, a smartphone or a, a, a smartphone or a uh, mobile device, you want to use an app that lets you view the audio levels or the audio uh, gain uh, as you're speaking. Uh, if you're on your, if you're just using a camera, then you usually are going to have that on, on more recent cameras that will let you record video. You're going to have the ability to check the audio levels, and so you need to do that. And you need to run a test, do a little recording, listen to it, and see how it sounds before you do your actual recording. So there are several lessons learned here. Number one is that normally the closer you have your mic to the sound source, my mouth, an example, the better the audio is going to be. But if it's too close with these lav mics, then it can be a little bit too raspy, perhaps. And so this, this for me, seems to work fairly well. You know, I'm, how far is that? About eight inches, maybe, from my mouth down to where the mic is. And the other thing is that you need to, uh, as I just said, check sound levels. One other point that could be negative to some degree with a Ceremonic using it with the phones that have lightning ports that require that adapter is that I found that what I need to do is make sure that Filmic Pro is completely stopped. So you know when you on an iPhone for example you double click the home button and it brings up all the apps that are in the background and just swipe away Filmic Pro so it's stopped. So when you start it again it's actually starting up and as I said in an earlier video that has it then pull all of the ports really the only one we're concerned about is the audio, the, the, uh, the lightning port, to see if anything external is plugged in. And so what I do is do that, and then I plug in the mic receiver, make sure the receiver's on, make sure the transmitter's on, start up Filmic Pro, and then immediately go to the gear menu device, or not device, but audio, and make sure that I see head, headphone set, or headphone uh, as the source of audio. That's an important thing to remember to do as well. And it's a little frustrating because I'm, I'm having trouble with my iPhone 7 Plus, which is two years old now, 
th that sometimes when I plug it in to charge it, it doesn't doesn't go dong, you know, to tell you that it's starting to charge. So I had to wiggle the thing. So there may be something wrong with the port on my particular phone right now that I, it has some dust in it or something I need to clean out. So that's something else to consider. So that was an, uh, an update on the Saramonic SR WM4C wireless mic that I bought over two years ago for around $80. It is a, uh, it's a nice setup. It's an inexpensive setup. It has a fairly decent range, and there are some videos that I believe I have linked to. I'll link to my video that I did, my photo, photography and technology tools video on the Ceremonic mic, and in it I have listed some other folks who have uh, tested distance uh, capability of this uh, Ceremonic mic. So you might want to take a look at those. But thank you again very much for checking in, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.